Good morning, you guys. Good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this video. I hope y'all are doing well. My name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel, My Garden and Me. Um, so, I haven't been up to the garden in two days. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, I did something to my shoulder and uh, it has hurt quite a bit for the last little bit. So, yeah, I haven't been doing much. Y'all, I'm so sorry, I'm not even paying attention. I was looking at the chickens and my son happened to leave the hose on that is now leaking into the chicken coop. So <laughs> I'm gonna go take care of that real quick and I will be right back. Hold on. This rooster is so annoying, y'all. Anyways, uh, my backyard is such a mess. Um, since we made the chicken coop and moved it, and we haven't had a chance to clean up. So, uh, and like I piled mess on top of mess. Um, please stop. Anyways, I have, uh, it is November 2nd right now. And um, I came out here for two things. One, to look at my pine uh, tree, which is above me, to see how many pine cones that I have. I have a green Christmas tree and I actually want to uh, harvest some of these pine cones and add them to the tree. So I'm gonna need height. So I'm going to get my husband and my son out here a little bit later and harvest some of these babies and start making some Christmas ornaments. But anyways, I don't know if that's a gardening thing, but it's my gardening thing. Um, ah, B. Um, the other thing that I came out here for, um, I've had these uh, sunflower seeds and I think they're ready. Ooh. Um, so I'm gonna stick them in a bag um, and hopefully when I plant them next year, um, they will be bigger and stronger. This is the only sunflower that I've ever grown, ever. So I'm super excited about this. So I'm gonna stick it in a bag. Hold on. Yeah. It's taking me a minute, y'all. Hold on, I'm doing it one-handed and it's not cooperating. So. Here's what I'm trying to do. Um, okay. Okay, it's in the bag. So I have two of the seeds fell off and they're growing in the bag. I can't believe I grew these, y'all. So I'm excited about that. So we're sticking them in here. We're not gonna let the birds get them. We're gonna bring them inside so next year I can actually plant them. Maybe I'll pull them off the thing too. I don't know. Wow, this is crazy. It's it's so crazy. Let me show you what I'm doing. Hold on. So yeah, kind of just, they're completely dry. They've been sitting out here for a while. But these are sunflowers that I grew y'all and I'm saving seeds from. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just find like things like this to be super exciting and amazing. And um, I can't believe I did it. So let me finish this up and I will get back to you. Okay, so that is done. I am just coming out here to walk and see what the garden is looking like. Um, so far, so good. Um, Y'all, I have a serious dilemma. I bought a new garden bed, which I'm going to show you, and I need to replace it. And I hate, did I say this before? I hate pulling up plants, especially flowering plants. I hate it like for real hate it I have a two eggplants that are flowering and fruiting 
Um, I have peppers, second year peppers that are flowering and fruiting. And I have a tomatillo plant that is fruiting and flowering. And when I say I hate to pull them up, I hate to pull them up. However, I have to get this garden bed in. Now I got an eight by four, which I think was a little bit ambitious. And I bought two of them. Uh, in my mind, I thought my garden was bigger and it's not. So we're gonna have to work on that. But the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm excited about looking in the garden right now, y'all, the seedlings that I planted, like my cabbages and my kale and my Swiss chard, they look good. <laughs> so let me just show you all of these things real quick and then show you the garden bed um, that I'm planning on putting stuff in. I have a lot of dill coming. Oh, y'all, y'all, they got to, oh my gosh. They ate my Brussels. I just knew it. Just one day. One day of not being up here. And they just ate my Brussels tops. I'm a woo-saw this moment right here. Yeah, I'm a woo-saw this moment. And let it go. Because um, I knew it was going to happen at some point. I can't cover them up any more than I'm covering them up. Oh, I could have sworn I had a cat. Okay, I was wrong. Anyways, um, disappointing. Uh, anyways, let me flip you all around. Okay, so here is this garden bed that I am saving for my onion plants. This one is also being saved for onions. I plan on planting onions in between these peppers right here. And here's what they did to my Brussels, y'all. So just when I think I'm getting over these um, stupid rodents, this is what happens. These were so lush, y'all. And I took them off, I think, three days ago. And this is what happened. But look at my collars, though. They're not touching them. And um, they're getting a little bit old and they're going to get a little bit tough. So I think I need to harvest them. And here is the tomatillos. Still doing well. Y'all, I'm so upset about this. Y'all just don't know. I'm going to put the cover backs back on the ones that I can. And then if you look down in here, it is so amazing. Look how much dill I have growing. And I think I have an onion growing right there too. So um, these dill plants, I'm just going to pluck them up and, and kind of stick them everywhere in the garden. Uh, these guys are still producing. It is still warm enough. We get as low as 48, 49, but we're staying above 50 at night. So I think I'll be able to get these to ripen up for the next couple of weeks. I'm super excited about the Anaheim chilies, though. They're looking really good. Yeah, they're looking really good. Um, nothing from the ghost peppers, but the bell peppers are actually, look at that. Yeah, look at that. And over here too, look at this. Yeah, look at, look at all the flowers on those. It's kind of crazy that they're doing this at the end. I mean, just look at this whole bunch right here. Wow. So I'm hoping that I'll get these guys to get to a point where I can actually harvest them and use them before we actually hit a, um, a freeze. And we're probably gonna get a freeze probably around uh, December, January. Um, and I haven't looked that up. It's just typically what happens here. And my garlic is starting to poke through. I can see not a lot, which is still freaking me out a bit because if they don't like, pop up then I'm gonna have to buy more garlic to plant because I'm gonna have very little the artichoke and the kale are looking fantastic over here um, but totally infested y'all look at that totally infested I'll put some diatomaceous earth there and the um, asparagus is also doing well um, what else can I show y'all Time always does well. I'm going to be separating that out and putting it on the outside. 
and my garlic over here this is the soft neck um only a few has popped up y'all you can see freaking me out a little bit <laughs> maybe i kept them in the fridge too long i don't know and i need to harvest the rest of my roselle which i think i might do today um another dill plant y'all that dill just blew everywhere i have like little plants popping up everywhere so this is the pepper bed that I was telling you that um, I'm going to replace. So the ochre that's there never gave me anything. The peppers that are in here are second year. And then um, the green onions right here. But my biggest concern or um, issue is, are these two eggplants? Because now they have so many flowers on them, like a lot. And um, they actually have fruit on them as well. You can see that. Oh, no, you can't. See, they have fruit. And I'm going to have to dig them up. This, I don't mind, like, rooting up and throwing away. Um, this, I want to keep, but it looks like it's dying. I just, I hate doing it, y'all. I really hate doing it. This is my other pepper bed that I'm going to keep and overwinter. So my goal is to today move these guys over there or just see if I can put the bed across here and still leave what I have. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll figure it out. Then over here, I have the rest of my um, plants. I have carrots that are popping up. I'm going to come out here and sprinkle some cayenne pepper. Um, and then the kale and the cabbages that I have here are, are doing okay. And then over here, this is where I was telling you that um, store-bought green onions right there. A basil store-bought. And then the cabbages that I started from seed. Everyone seems to be doing well except for this one and that one. But the rest of them are looking good. Um, and y'all look at tomatoes. Look at tomatoes. It's crazy. So that's why I didn't want to pull this one plant out. And then I have Swiss chard over here. And I have some more cabbage and kales. And onions. So my onions are looking pathetic. So I have a lot to do. And I think I'm going to get it all done today. It is a cool day. It is a cool and a little bit overcast day today. It's not going to get any higher than 60 degrees, um, which is perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to harvest some roselle. I am going to put that garden bed, and I don't know if I can do it by myself, y'all. So I might need Isaiah and Jay to help me with it because um, my shoulder is not good. Um, but I need it done. <laughs> So even if I do it on my own, I'm probably going to injure myself a little bit more. But I got to get it done, y'all. Because um, my onions are coming next week. Next week? I think so. Next week or the week after next. I can't remember. But I'd like to get it settled, everything settled in. So I got to move all the bricks, um, all the bricks right there from around so I can put the garden bed in. Speaking of which, let me show you the garden bed. Hold on. So like I said, here's a garden bed. It's an eight by four. It is huge. I, it is, it, it, it's huge. I didn't, I don't know. In my mind, it didn't seem that big, but it is. So yeah, we're gonna have to see how that fits. And that's why I want to make sure that I get all of it, like, you know, just get it settled in. So I don't, when it comes time to planting, I can just plant and not have to worry about it and the other thing is i don't know if i have enough salt currently i have four bags of soil so i know i'm gonna have to buy more um to put in there um but i do appreciate the fact that it's that big because then i have i think more growing room and i won't be losing soil and all that good stuff so yeah sorry this is a rambling video I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna get some stuff done. I think I'm gonna harvest some roselle. I'm gonna leave the colors for this evening. I'll come out 
um, and show you guys uh, what I got off the harvest. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to harvest the roselles. I'm going to harvest the coloreds because I don't want them to get really tough. I will harvest any peppers that I have. And I'm going to put the garden bed, um, get the garden bed situated and get the soil in there. I have some uh, old like tomato plants and just stuff that I pulled out of the garden that I save, thank the good Lord, that I'm going to put at the very bottom of it. And we'll just see how it goes, y'all. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys on my next video. Um, and that will probably be me doing all the things that I told you that I was going to be doing. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. Hubby to the rescue. My shoulder, I couldn't. I just could not. So, oh. princess, move. Uh. I don't know what she's doing. Ooh. Why are you in the way? Okay. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you so much. What's she doing? I, she's just playing around in the stuff. Yeah. I'll have Isaiah take care of the rest later. Ooh. Careful, careful, it. careful. Yeah. <laughs> careful, careful. This we're going to make the fireplace bigger. Not this one. Yeah, that's the one we used. Those are them. Perfect. You're good. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll take care of the rest. Ooh, thank right. you, thank you, thank you. Uh, All right, bye. Princess, go with dad. Come. Go. Good girl. Us women love to talk about our independence, but I promise you I couldn't have done that without him. So, <laughs> so grateful. So, so grateful. Uh, let me get this situated and uh, we'll get back at you. My shoulder is burning, y'all. I lift up one brick one brick and i was done so we're gonna wake up the young man and have him come out here and help me with the rest all right give me a sec okay so here is what it looks like now when i tell you that this was in ground planting look it's not even an inch down like maybe this one is um but this one no so i was losing soil and if you can see um around the edge like all my soil got washed away all of it so i don't know if you can see like right there it's slanted downward so yeah and i have grubs look at that oh my gosh there's so many in here that's terrible uh, wow so we're gonna get these we're gonna give them to the chickens um but we're gonna fill this bed with all the debris and stuff that I have been storing all the way over there. So we're gonna go grab those. We're gonna throw them in here, let them decompose for a bit. I'm concerned that my kid kind of built this incorrectly, but he can't have. Everything should have been the same height, but like, I don't know, it seems like it's bowing. But we'll figure it out, y'all, we will. Um, and I definitely am going to have to pry these out of here. I have to clean this up, but I cannot. I literally, my shoulder will not let me do it. And I have to get the soil in here. I will do the little things that I can do. But yeah, at least it's down. We're going to replace this bed as well. Um, yeah, we're going to replace that bed as well. I think I have better soil a better soil level in there than I do here. Um, so hopefully I'll have um, a better uh, yield in the next couple of years. But I'm excited. Look at the expanse of the growing space though. So this was probably uh, three feet versus the four feet that I have. Can you see the difference? Hold on, let me see. Maybe that's a better look. Can you see? Look how much space on the sides that I have. So yeah, let's, you know, replace this garden bed. I know I said bye on the previous video, but he, hubby happened to walk up here and I'm just like, hey, let's just utilize him while he's here. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to put all our debris in here. Let's get this out here though. Let's get 
that and this. Um, yeah, and my oregano, I'm probably going to have to uproot and replant it once I have uh, um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this garden, but, but we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out, y'all. This zenny is going to go. So, yeah. Exciting. All right, you guys. That's it for now. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all. It's me again. <laughs> Hello, you guys. So, still the same day. Um, however... This is a lot more work than I anticipated it, that it was going to be. So, um, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel, My Garden and Me. I am currently in the process of replacing a garden bed. So far, so good. She looks great. I just had hubby dump all my saved uh, stuff that I pulled out of the garden to help me build up soil. But... Then I emptied out a um, a grow bag that was sitting right there, oh, right there. And it had my blueberry plant in that I replaced and put over there. And you all, I have these grubs. Now I have here and there, I've picked them out of the garden beds, but I haven't really like thought, hey, you have an excessive amount of the stuff, but y'all, let me show you. Don't mind my dirty table. My dirty table. I'm gonna, but it's it's crazy. I had about four when I just um, dug out, but when I dumped that bag just now, this is how much I got. Hold on. Now this might have something to do with. Can y'all see that? It is so gross, y'all. Can you see? Oh, they're so gross. They're all going to the chickens. They're all going to the chickens. Um, so that might be why I'm having issues having really lush plants in my grow bags. Because these stupid grubs are in there. And I'm pretty sure they're gnawing at my roots. So we are going to get that stuff taken care of and spread out throughout. I've decided I'm not going to uproot anything. The only thing I might uproot is my... The zenia is going to go. And oregano has to be uprooted. So we're going to pull up the oregano. And we're going to leave everything else. Yeah. So I'm going to get my clippers. I'm going to cut this stuff up. I'm going to layer it around each and every plant. And uh, then I'm going to start filling. I'm going to add some cardboard in there because I have lots and lots of cardboards. Hey, cat, get out of my bed. Lots and lots of cardboard. And um, uh, I put some cardboard down in there as well and then throw some soil on top of it. And then we're going to call it a day. So I'm in my mind, I want to fill this bed to the top. I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, uh, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to get four more bags. I have, let me see so far. Um, and I still have more plant debris. Um, but hubby has, he, hubby came to the rescue. He did that for me as well. Um, so I have, let me see, one, two, ooh, I thought I had four bags of soil. I do not. I have three bags of soil and I have three bags of compost. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be pulling all the extra bags of soil that I have that I am not currently using. I'm going to dump them in that bed. So the garden is going to look pretty bare because I'm just using all of it to fill that bed up. And um, I'll refill those bags of soil eventually. Yes. What do you want? Um, and get this garden bed situated, which means, ah, come on, cat. You, I'm going to step on you. Princess, where are you? Anyways, so um, I got to take the tape off that Amazon box and I have to cut it up and I'm going to have to pull all the stuff and just get that bed ready. It's a lot of work, y'all. So 
Again, my shoulder is not feeling too hot. I'm not doing a lot. And thank goodness, uh, hubby came through and said, hey, let me help you out with this. Because otherwise I would be in pain. Um, but I would really like to get this part done and uh, get this yard and garden situated. Um, so this might be a process over a couple of days. So uh, I'm not going to say bye. I'll say see you later. And the other thing that I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to collect some soil. Because I have a Barbados cherry that I need to plant. And so next year I can put her out. And she's in a tiny little bag. And I need to up pot her. So. <sighs> Y'all, it's a lot. Um, but we're going to get her done. So let, 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 me, let me do that right now. So I think for now I'm just going to spread those uh uh dried uh plants around um and then i'd like to get the other so i can water them in and then i'm going to throw the soil on top of it and water those in as well and um i think then i'm going to go inside and i'm going to collect some soil from one of these bags um with some uh i don't know if i'm going to put compost in there y'all but some fertilizer in that little soil and up pot my uh, Barbados cherry, which again, I'm gonna say, I didn't know it was from Barbados. All I know is that it grows in Jamaica. So <laughs> is it a Jamaican cherry or is it a Barbados cherry? I probably have to do some research on that. Y'all tell me, comment down below. Is it a Barbados cherry or is it something that grows in Jamaica on a consistent basis? Cause I just think it's like, it's from the islands. I, I don't think it's Barbados. It's just from the islands, but specifically where i grew up which is jamaica so yeah anyways i'll see you guys in a bit bye y'all okay so here's where i'm at i put all the leftover stuff that i pulled from the garden in the summer in the bed at the bottom stomped on it pulled up all the grubs that i could find and then i started running around and grabbing all the cardboard that i can find i still have one more box over there um and uh we're gonna layer it again with all that stuff. I need like a little bit right here. So I'm not gonna pull out the eggplants. I'm gonna bury them deep. I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad for the plants, but that is what I'm going to do. Cause y'all, this bed is huge and it is a lot to fill. Like for reals. So yeah, all the corn stalks that I had and everything, I'm glad I saved them. Um, and that's where they're going to go. Um, I think I'm getting to my limit, though. Hold on. I, I need to go show you the other, like, plant debris that I do have. And I have some over there, too. So I could clip the um, honeysuckle and drop them in here as well. I really could. Um, and I think I might. But let me show you what else I have. Hold on. Y'all, I have so much cleanup. The wind and stuff blow this, blew this stuff over. Uh, the weeds are dying. My greenhouse needs attending. It, 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 it's, it's a mess, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show you the rest because it's just embarrassing. Uh, just don't look at it. <laughs> so we're going to use this box. But I have all this stuff over here. And they're just kind of sitting. So I figured... I might want to get this out, all of this stuff out. And then I might clip some of these too and just drop it in there so it can break down. Um, and 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 uh, get it done. Cause look at this, this is, this is a mess. It's an absolute mess. Um, but if I could get all that stuff in that bed Maybe my three bags of soil, if I get another one plus the compost, um, will be enough to fill it so that we can have at least the onions ready to go. I probably need to get another two bags, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I have the energy to do that right now. Um, I'm going to wait for my kid to get his butt up out of bed. And then we're going to do that. And then he's going to rebuild the other bed for me, which is going to go right here. Um, and with the peppers, again, 
I am not even going to mess with them. I'm just going to put, remove the bricks, put the bed down, and kind of do the same thing. And I'm going to show you something else. Hold on. So over here, I have all these dead weeds and stuff. Um, like I said, it's pretty embarrassing showing you this area, but whatever. That I plan on pulling out. But y'all, look at this. I need to cut this off my fence. These things are dead. Dead, 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 dead. So I think I'm going to ask um, hubby and son to come up and just like pull all this stuff off the fence and stick them in the garden bed. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But for now, I am going to take a break because I don't want my shoulder like giving out on me um i think i've done enough i am what i am going to do right now though is i'm going to soak this bed really well because in the next two hours or so i think i'm going to come out here and then with isaiah and get the rest of that stuff that i just showed you in my little compost area i'm gonna spread it all along here and then we're gonna put the three bags of soil down along with the compost and then I'm probably going to get more soil to come out and just spread all over to get this bed ready. So, yeah, it's taking me a long time. I'm sorry, y'all. But I want to do it right. Um, and I will. it's going to be repeat and rinse with this bed right here. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, y'all, so I had to put on a sweater to get out here again because it is cold. <laughs> it is cold, y'all. Anyways, uh, let me show you what I've done so far and then I'm going to end the video here. I don't want it to be too long. It's probably long enough as it is already. Um, I still didn't get to harvest my collards and I think that's a mistake. So I might do that quickly after after I finish doing what I'm doing right now. But anyways, let me show you. Hold on. So an overview of the garden right now. So she is still a mess. But this is the new garden bed. So... It is halfway filled <laughs> after um, putting three bags of the Kellogg's or, um, organic potting mix, uh, two bags of the stair manure blend, and one bag of uh, black cow. So this is what I got with all of that. So I think I'm going to buy five more bags just to see if that will fill it. Um, but wherever that five bag stops, that's where it stops. And then um, hopefully when the onions get here, I will... Um, add some more amendments and then we'll be good and then we'll start working on this bed right here um, I pulled out my oregano and I put it in here I didn't do a good job of burying the roots but I think it'll be fine I'm gonna separate it too actually and like plant like little patches everywhere and then my garlic chive that was here I put it that was that was over here I just stuck it in right there for now. I don't think that's going to be its permanent home. Um, what else did I do? What else? What else? What else? What else? I added some cayenne pepper because um, of what they did to my Brussels. So I added some cayenne pepper around. Um, and yeah, that is everything. Oh, I moved the thyme that was there. And I moved it in the corner over there. Since this is their entrance point, I want to put something that they don't like in the smell of it. So we'll put that there. And I put my other thyme that was sitting on the garden beds that was up top here. I put it over here as well. My goal is to move, break this apart into several pieces and plant them all along here and just let it take over. Um, the back fence right now um, so the last thing I'm going to do is grab the collards 
because again they're so beautiful and I would hate to grow them and come back out I'm gonna be going to work tomorrow and I don't want for me to come back and see that they have chomped on it like they did my Brussels because if they came in this far I'm pretty sure they're gonna go to this next so I'm gonna grab these while they're beautiful and um yeah that's it anyways you guys thank you all for watching if you stuck through the video for this long i appreciate you um uh spending your time with me um yeah today was an emotional day um but being in the garden helped um especially the last half of it so i am so grateful to be out here um, thank you all for spending your time with me. I will see you guys on my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, y'all, subscribing doesn't cost y'all a thing. Bye, y'all.